All your guns is borrowed. I don't feel sorrow. Actually, your man passed the gat to me. Now check this. What's beef? All right, guys. Welcome back. So Tasha had had asked me to pull up the lyrics to Notorious B.I.G. What's beef? And because uh, what were the you lyrics watching? are concerning? But I was watching, watching something, something on TikTok, TikTok okay. and I was like, these lyrics can't be real. Yeah. Okay. So if you have been living under a rock, you had to be living under a rock. P. Diddy is being is he being indicted? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, because he bail is not set. So a lot of things are going on, but there was so much in the open. Mm -hmm. And even in the lyrics of this song, he's saying what Puffy was doing. Okay, so we're going to yeah. pull up these lyrics. We're going to talk about it because how in the world, I mean, it was right in everybody's face. Okay. okay. Y'all can read the whole the whole song but i'm just gonna i i guess this was going on during the east coast west coast beef and what let me see let me pull this over uh-huh keep going because i need to see when this was released okay um look it up look it up on your phone real quick i remember when this song came out it was, you do? It was yeah what's beef it was dope did I mean, you know? Okay, so it was dope. It was dope. And did you know the lyrics of the song? No, nah, not really. See, I mean, this is what happens. Okay, so we do a reaction channel, and sometimes we do reactions to songs we've heard before. Yeah. But you don't know the lyrics. Right. Yeah. And I've never heard this song before. You never heard what's beef? No. Oh, okay. That I, I love how. But see, yeah, I'm I, a lyrics person. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a lyrics person. The only time I didn't know lyrics was when I was a child. Right. Okay, so, and, and, and I don't and, have the and comprehension. This the, and that's the other thing, too, especially with Notorious B.I.G. Great rapper. Um, and there are people out there who, are, who listen to music, but they only listen to singles or they listen to what's on MTV and things of that nature. Like, they... Are you just listening to the beat? Yeah, or they and you just catch a few to words. The beat. But then there's other people who actually buy the albums. They listen to all the songs. They know the lyrics, and they kind of take a more deeper dive into the artist. And with certain specific hip hop artists, you know, that's what I am. I, you know, don't just consume the singles. And so, uh, what's beef isn't really a radio friendly song. It wasn't on MTV, but a lot of hip hop heads and Big fans, you know, they're very familiar with this song. Oh, okay. Anyway. So y'all knew all along then. Well, I mean, see, and it's the other thing too. To me, when I hear lyrics that are incredibly violent or, or raunchy or whatever, you know, I just see it as fictitious because I don't believe half the things that come out of these rappers' mouth. So, well, people should have believed Notorious VIG. Yeah. Anyway, uh, um, so what's going on? So I'm just going to read one part of it, okay? okay. And this says, see me in the street. Your jewelry, you can keep it. That'll be our little secret. See me, B, that is. I, that is. G whiz. MF is still in my biz. Don't they know my N-word gutter fucking kidnap kids? Fuck them in the ass. Throw them over the bridge. <laughs> I like how That's, you slight censored some of the words. I, I just couldn't no more. <laughs> I, just, I just can't no more. <laughs> Throw them over the bridge. That's how it is. My shit is laid out. F that beef shit. That shit is played out. Y'all got the gall. All I make is one phone call. All y'all disappear by tomorrow. Yeah. All your guns is borrowed. I don't feel sorrow. Actually, your man passed the gat to me. Now check this. What's beef? Mm. Yeah. He was telling, like... So you're saying that this... This, this about Puffy. This verse right here was about this, P. Diddy? This, this about Puffy. Kidnapping kids. And I think that, I, and I, I, I ain't even going to say it. Okay. Now, he could be speaking like. Who else could he be talking no, about? No, no, no. I'm saying like he could not be actually speaking literally. You know, he could be, of be speaking figur figuratively like. Who makes you know, stuff like this up? Uh, you know, our words, your kids in the music industry, as we've seen, you know, because 
these tons of artists have been R worded no, in the I, industry. This with a three sixty deal him, or something like this that. This is him. No, this Th- have is they not found, about because I mean deal. they said that he does have a kidnapping charge right now. He does. But have they found any bodies? Is there any proof to what he's saying? What? Or was he just saying? This was in 1997. Yeah? What are you talking about? Don't be devil's advocate. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Please stop with that because okay. that's that's the problem. That's why it took so long in the first place. This yeah. is why it took so long. Oh, my God. <laughs> to me, this is shocking. I mean, how did people know that this song was out here and not put two and two together? I mean, I, mean, I guess y'all see it now. Yeah, exactly. But because, you because but, it, look in ninety seven. But in ninety seven, nobody knew that this kind of stuff was going on behind the scenes. We talked about it before because we grew up listening to Biggie. I mean, uh, 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 the toys. Uh, no, a uh, bad boy oh, and yeah, Sean Diddy Combs music. But so, I so never in, bought albums so like that. In ninety seven, he was coming out with with like Crush on You. Uh, yeah, and Those don't were the push radios, us because we're close radio to friendly. the edge. Like. Growing up, P. Diddy wasn't the bad guy. Bad Boy wasn't the... They weren't the bad no. people. Everybody was that focused... That was a facade. They were focused that was on... A facade. It was a facade, but everybody was focused on Suge Knight. Death Row was the bad... They were the bad guys. Right. Uh, Suge Knight was the one that was hanging vanilla ice off of balconies and stuff. They were the ones that were See, they were down. more open about it. You know, and so... But Bad Boy, I mean, right. it's in the name. And bad so, Boy. And so when... when when people were watching, like fans or hip hop heads, when you're watching TV and you're watching the music and stuff, the whatever Bad Boy had going on, or even P Diddy, like they looked like the good guys almost mm-hmm. compared to N.W.A. and compared mm-hmm. to some of the West Coast rappers. You know, um, this reminds me of Red Dead Redemption when we first started watching it. Oh yeah, yeah. You just didn't know how the we, game was. We, we, I really thought you like Dutch Vanderlyn. I, I was like. Dutch is a good guy. Yeah. And all these people, he's just trying to support these people. Right. But once you start digging and seeing what they were actually right. doing. Yeah, scumbags. Oh Arthur Morgan murdering people. Yeah. You know, and it's it's a facade. It really is. And I right. think with Puff Daddy, he did it in a way to where he knew the, he, knew he was a bad guy. But... He allowed people like Suge Knight to think they were the bad guy yeah. and be open about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But underneath, he was doing some sinister mm. things. Yeah. When you mess with people's children, I mean, that's dark. And the fact that Notorious B.I.G. said this. Now, I have speculation about the passing of Notorious B.I.G. and Tupac. Okay. Okay, well, and that, I'm not. I'm not even gonna go into it. All right. Well, that w- that would be another video that we'll talk about. So, yeah. Guys, y'all can leave your thoughts down below in the <sighs> comment section. Uh, let us know. What it's you, right here. Yeah. Let us know what you think about um, this. this. And uh, and maybe we'll look more into Big's lyrics. Anyway, we're out of here. Yikes. Like, share, and subscribe. We'll see y'all next time. Oh my. God.